NISBA News is supported by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal. Reach up and touch the sun. Look down to see a Mayan temple surrounded by dense jungle. Spin your head around to see that the rainforest extends as far as the eye can see in all directions. This is a virtual reality expedition, and witnessing such places at the Tonawanda Central School District is limited only by the imagination. We were exploring the remains of the Aztec, Incan, and Mayan empires. We saw a lot of temples and pyramids used for human sacrifices. Using special VR goggles, students can travel to places virtually and be engaged in ways that would otherwise be impossible. An expedition is uh, Google's kind of immersive trip. Um, right now they are surrounded 360 degrees in, in a, uh, a trip to um, the Amazon. The technology places the viewer in a 360 degree bubble. As the viewer moves their head around, the images they see follow within the bubble at all angles. They have explored space, so we've walked on Mars, we have looked at the different planets, we've touched the sun. The successful integration of virtual reality has opened the eyes of the school board to a cost-effective way to prepare students for the ever-evolving technical world. It also opens their eyes to the things that are possible for them. Um, I mean, we're training kids for jobs that don't even exist yet, uh, so they get a little taste of what's going on with these STEAM classes. The district intends to continue developing VR and integrating it at all levels of the curriculum. This is such a unique and powerful way for students to engage in the curriculum uh, and really learn. It's like a more fun experience than just sitting there and taking notes. It's nice to like see it because it's better than just looking at pictures too. Because it gives you more of like an experience of what it's like there. Reporting for NISBA News, I'm Casey Nicholson.